Just to identify that. Tell the people what we do. Portuguese man of war. <laughs> Incline time belt for us. Tiny coffee, big man. You decide. Good morning, party people. Uh, it's been a little while since I've given you guys a like eating training vlog. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. I'm gonna go and train with Lane this morning at nine o'clock. But first things first, I'm making myself breakfast. So what we've got here is oh, oat protein. Delicious crumpets. What you're gonna do on the toaster right now. Tiny coffee, which is actually decaf. I'm doing that more for the taste than the caffeinated effects because after I have my creatine, right there, I'm also gonna be having this. This secret little product that I'm developing right now, and I'm gonna tell you nothing about it, but if I'm having it before I work out, you might be able to guess what it is. I'm not telling you any more than that. All right, let's go. I don't know if we've discussed crumbs before, but they're the best. So what I have on mine is uh, a very empty grenade spread. Clearly need to order more of that. That's the carb killer spread in white chocolate. And then I have 25% uh, less fat, light peanut butter. This is smooth because Court prefers it smooth, but I'm also happy to have a crunchy. It's so good. I have a very important question for you. I wanna know how you guys take your creatine. Do you mix it in with things or are you a straight savage and do you have it? <laughs> with a shot glass of water. Let's go train. Welcome back to the Garage of Gains, featuring my handsome training partner, Mr. Lane Fletcher. Hello. I realized on the way over here, I'm gonna to attempt to take you off this little spot right now. I realized on the way over here, something that you and I haven't discussed yet. And you that is, <laughs> us, all of us together haven't discussed. You and I are currently doing the exact same training program for the first time ever. Ever. This is, we're into block two of the training program. So, Lane and I often have very different goals of our training, but we are currently on the same goal of self-improvement, so we're sticking to the same program right now. Yes, we are. Um, do you want to talk through the people what we're doing today, Lane? Today, we are doing, that's a great question, we're training chest. Push. Yep. We've got dumbbell bench, we've got some dips. Shoulders? Barbell? Eventually. No, no, later in the piece. We've got incline dumbbell flies, we've got Arnold presses, lateral raises and we've got some curls. Cool. The whole purpose of this is strength but also hypertrophy based. So uh, starting off with feet raised, dumbbell press I believe. Just regular, but. <laughs> I haven't looked at the program. But we're not putting our lower backs into extension. We're gonna keep nice and flat, kind of like a Larson press but not quite. I'm gonna set you guys up and we'll get into it. So that's three sets of eight reps. Working sets. <laughs> pew pew! Eight reps there um, at the dumbbell bench press. We're moving on now to dips. Or chest squats, if you will. Chest squats. How many reps are you going for? Am rep. Am rep. As many reps as pleasable. That's where we're gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a solid four here. <laughs> Such a 
pump from doing dips. Every time. See? <laughs> and. Tell people what we're doing. Portuguese man of war. <laughs> Incline dumbbell forms. Uh, I'm gonna go for 12 here. And I'm going to try and really feel this contraction and yep. not just move through it. That's a great, great thing. You start doing, I'll Let's start. Move with intention, I'll keep friends. talking. <laughs> One of the things I'm gonna talk about when does is you can see he's at the top of your leg, kind of brings his elbows in, so he's actually contracting in with the pecs right through. He's also in this bottom position, not just bringing the weight together, it's also coming up and together. So he's utilizing the pectoral muscle properly to actually bring that together. Because that is the whole purpose of the pecs, is to create this motion. But if you're just like doing that, you're not really getting as much movement in the pecs, whereas if you come up and in, you're gonna use the pectoral the whole way through. reps is a lot of reps. Too many. Two, zero. So you can see here, Lane's not really going above his shoulder. Um, the whole reason for that is there's no real purpose that you're not getting any more gains. He's kind of normally gonna be using momentum. You also see he's not bringing him right down beside himself. So it's keeping that tension in the movement the whole time. Which means at the end of 20 reps, you're gonna be hurting. Hello. Hello. It's me. What do you mean, Arnold Press? Is it me you're looking for? We are doing Arnold Press. Okay, so we've got an Arnold Press happening uh, with some dumbbells here. You'll notice that twist in the bottom position, get a full stretch down. We press up all the way overhead, getting those dumbbells together. What this does is just going to encourage lifting through the full range of motion for the deltoids. Um, and with that lockout that Nate's doing there, you're going to get a lot of triceps in the movement. This is a nice one to add in as like a primary accessory to your pressing work or much later in the piece with a lighter weight to really accumulate some metabolites as you go through the session. Oh, and that's a lot of weight. Okay. Mm, it hurts. why we've included biceps, a traditional pull exercise on a push day. Mainly because... I don't think you're a friend, right? Come join. Hello. <laughs> Hello, friends. Mainly because I was watching this sweet video about a mama bear saving her baby bears. Mainly because when I was younger, I trained biceps all the time. Uh, and I had a really, really high tolerance and I had a really high frequency um, and I kind of screwed myself over for bicep training for the rest of my life because the amount of volume that I then required to do to get gains was higher and higher and higher. So now I can't do all the amount of bicep work that I need to do in one session. Um, so I'm spreading it out evenly over the week. I'm actually curling at the moment in this program four days a week in order to get the amount of volume that I need and spread out across that frequency because if I did it all in one or two sessions, it'd be too hard. And the reasoning I'm doing this, which is 
not quite the same, but also similar. Is I have such a high volume. Uh, Maximum recoverable volume. Yeah. That's not the word I was, was going to use. Tolerance. That's the word I wanted. It's such a high tolerance that I kind of just tend to need more volume anyway. So it's working out really well because my arms are something I want to grow. Let's get curled. But that's the important reason why you should structure your training from early on and you shouldn't go over those volume landmarks of around 20 sets a week. Otherwise, you are going to make it really hard for yourself later on in your lifting journey. Don't do what we did. Be better than us. We're done. Complete. Finite and cantata. Okay. That's uh, the spell that Dumbledore uses. No. What is that from? It's definitely a spell. I know it's Harry Potter, but I'm trying to remember what the spell does. No, it's a rest uh, memento. It's when he stops Harry Potter falling. Just so you know, we love Harry Potter. Uh, I'm gonna go eat more food now. Lane, we have to save the people. I'm also gonna eat some food. <laughs> but separately. All right, let's see what home. We're back. You're shaking on the Gorilla Pod, which is really not doing me any favors this morning. Um, so, it's egg time. Stay, stay. So I'm trying to, in order to eat more calories currently, split my breakfast up as I'm not a great eater of foods. So I'm doing uh, two breakfasts each day, one being the first one, which is carb heavy, and then I'm having a protein heavy breakfast after I train. So I'm gonna have four eggs right now and a protein shake and maybe a yogurt. We shall see how I go. Oh, I can try your egg technique. Do you wanna tell the people about your egg technique? Okay. Okay, so step one, crack the top of the egg. Step two, crack the bottom of the egg. Now, remove just a little bit of the top. You want to make a hole, just a little hole. I cracked the whole thing. That's, that's cool, that's great. We'll make it working better. Yep, perfect. Now, yep. same on the other side. Let it be known that I suck at peeling eggs. All right, now what you want to do is hold the egg sort of in your hand like that. It's hot. Yeah. Now, put your lips around it and blow. It kind of just... Harder. Is it going to fly out? Maybe. <laughs> yep. It's going to fly out, but only the... <laughs> I hate your technique. <laughs> Oh, my bad. So I'm just going to put this over there. Maybe I'll just leave them to cook in their own shells for a bit longer. Yeah. So that was your fault because the egg wasn't cooked enough. Of course, yeah. You know that saying where they're like, oh, you got egg on your face. I got egg on everything. So the eggs was a letdown. I think I'm just going to go back. I always just saying this to McGee before we started filming is that I always overcook boiled eggs and I think I just need to go back to that because that was an absolute fiasco. But now for a part that's always safe, uh, protein rich yogurt, 15 grams of protein in that. And then of course I got my carb killer because there's 24 grams of protein in that bad boy. So this is a high protein, low carb post-workout meal as I have a very high carb pre-workout meal. You don't need to watch me eat this, but just filling you in on this is what's happening now. Mmm. I'm terrible at vlogging. We never remember, I never remember ever to go, like if I go in a store, I just don't bring the camera, cause I'm like, oh, it's okay, I'm going shopping, I'll just talk afterwards. And then, that's four hours ago. This is why you gotta remember what you're doing, you gotta talk on the spot. Anyway, so we're done with that, and we had burgers for lunch. So I'm gonna head home now, and it's almost dinner time, so I'll keep you guys in the loop for that as well. But essentially, we went to a place called Grilled, and I had sliders, and they were delicious. Um, so my calorie count for today is probably around 25 to 2600 calories currently. That's a guesstimation. I could be a little bit over or a little bit under. I'm not really worried about right now. I'm sort of just winging it and eating intuitively. Have I missed anything? Car cleaned? Oh yeah, we got the car cleaned too. It's... It's really shiny. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys inside. 
ravioli. That is tonight's dinner. I'm gonna have that and then I, I don't know what I'm gonna have afterwards, but I'm not gonna film all of dinner tonight because I'm gonna put the camera down, spend some time chilling with court. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the training earlier on and that's it, super simple. I'll speak to you guys next time.